Hi everyone and welcome back. We're about to head into episode 12 of Game Boy's title Jealousy in the Air. I don't expect this to be a fluffy, light-hearted episode. I expect quite a bit of drama because usually around this episode uh, these shows tend to head into the drama side of things. Of course it's also been a build-up between Gabriel and Cairo because of how Gabriel felt in the previous episode about Wesley and of course about Cairo moving so far away from him. I expect it to come to a head. Some sort of argument will happen between the, the leads and it will have to do with Wesley and Terence seeing as Terence came into it right at the end in the last episode. Hopefully it's not too bad the situation but maybe they need to air out everything that's going on between them to at least build on their relationship. <sighs> Let's go. Hi. Hi, Gab. Uh, okay, so we're on this part. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. I guess we're not gonna. Hmm. I understand. Sorry, I thought. Anyway, should you? Uh, 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 mm -mm. I know what you're doing yeah. here. Oh, I got him back. I guess. I mean, he has I said previously that he's not okay. Like most people nowadays. But I don't think I've seen my home stuff yet. I mean, if it's just to talk to him, then that should be okay. Okay. Oh. The music implies there's something else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he has no one. Does he also not talk to have his parents around? Okay. That answers my question. He has someone there for him? I thought that person left him. You were angry. Mm, here we go. Yeah. Do you have friends who do that? Not in a negative about Pearl, but just if they get a relationship, they kind of disappear for a while. What is he up to? Oh, Yeah. But he's allowed to feel sad about it. Oh. Are you drinking again, Terence? You're allowed to worry. Yeah. Okay, so you trust Kyra. Wait, you're jealous? Yeah. Hindi ka naman ganyan dati ah. Sa bagay, dala na rin siguro. Or maybe he just really likes Kyra more than anyone else. A piece of unsolicited advice from someone who ruined all of his relationships. I think it will help if you communicate your feelings to Kyra. Why did it take Terence to say this? Moving away soon. Ah, tuloy na tuloy na 
talaga. You knew he was leaving the pearl. They've made Gavril look really tired and sad. And then he's just watching him. Oh, baby. Sarap ng kain mo eh. <laughs> Alam mo, baby. Has he been crying? 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 Has he he wants to spend time with you. He just really misses you and is going to miss you. It's actually really sweet. <laughs> it's also just nice to see Gavril show this side to him. You forget he is all alone. Well, you made him smile just by doing that. <laughs> no, but he is all alone. Yeah. Well, if that's happening here right now, another lockdown. Mm -hmm. We're up to 17,000 a day. He's just feels claustrophobic. Oh, that's really, really sweet. I'm really heartbreaking as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the way he watches. <laughs> Look at how Cairo watches him. <laughs> He's definitely gotten more muscular. The actor plays Gabriel as the show's gone on. I'm at least, I'm happy to see them showing them still communicating like this. Mm. Yeah, they tell you that's how to fold up your clothes so that you can get more in there. Yeah, it's happening. So. 
nakausap ko na pa rin sa City Hall. Hello, Sabi nila, Wesley. you need to secure daw yung travel pass dyan. Tapos, you need to present a medical certificate. And I think, kailangan niya magpa-swap test para sure. Yeah, you should uh-huh. be having a swap test. Sige, sige, sabihin ko na lang kay Mama. Tapos yun, so, upon arrival, magka-quarantine facility kayo. So, 14 days yun. Nakita ko naman yung photo sa timeline. Well, okay naman. Basta don't expect na lang. Ha? It's not a five-star hotel arrangement. Yeah, you shouldn't expect a five-star hotel anyway. Basta don't expect na lang. Goods na yun. Kesa naman dyan sa Manila na ako grabe. Are you sure about that? Mamailing. Sige, sige. O, bakit parang hindi ka naman excited? So, ako nga sobrang excited na eh. Hindi naman mm-hmm. talaga eh. Why should he be? Complicated kaya ng set. So, sa yeah. totoo lang, Wes, hindi naman kasi ako ready pa umalis dito. Sa bagay. O siyempre, marami ka nga naman may iiwan dyan. And something or new. Or may taong may iiwan, kaya nag-aalit yeah, ka. Yeah, it's, it's something new for him. It's his first relationship. Oo. Sige. Kasi naman, kung kailan naging mas malapit kami sa isa't isa, saka naman ganito, saka naman kami magkakalayo. Yeah, that's gonna so, be hard. Kaya naman sikap, mas malawag po matatanggap tong desisyon ni Mami. Kaya lang, bago lang ba kayo? Oo. Mm-hmm. Bago pa lang kami, pero... Then feeling ko, tagal-tagal na namin magkakilala, gets? Tapos sa uh, online lang kayo nagkakilala. Yeah, but lots oh. of people meet online. Oh. Okay, well you have an opinion, so why don't you say it? Bakit parang may nasisense ako exactly. na from you? Hindi, hindi, wala-wala. Uh, Doon tayo sa latest na nabasa ko about sa LDR game. Ba't ka ba kasi nagbabasa about LDR? Mm-hmm. Kaya LDR ka rin. Uy, teka lang, kuha lang pala akong damit sa taas, ha? Wait. Sorry, go lang. Go lang, go lang. Naku, so, wala. Kahit ka-LDR, wala talaga eh. Oh yeah, we got that. Napasa ko yun dahil sa pandemic. LDR, yun. Parang yun naman yung naramdaman natin eh. Na may social distancing, may physical distancing. And the mere fact na hindi mo mayakap o mahawakan yung mga mahal mo sa buhay, LDR na yun. Uh, hindi na fact. Um, <laughs> opinion na kaya yan. Yeah, I don't okay. think that's a fact. Pero kasi according din sa sikat na family therapist, sabi niya, We need at least four hugs a day to survive. Eight hugs for maintenance and twelve hugs for growth. Ah, oh. thanks, Kuya Kim. Okay. I mean, <laughs> so, I don't like to hug people, so I don't agree with that. Sobrang matatalino eh. Alam mo kung lahat na niwala sa statistics na yan, hindi wala nang nagmahal. Um, Wait, teka lang. Just smile that when he sees Gavel's name pop up. Yeah, I maybe. Maybe. Kausap ko si Wes, nag update lang. Pwede mag-high? Wes, pwede daw pong mag-high si Gal? Ah, uh, sh- sure. No problem. <laughs> okay? That's not true. Sige, sige, thanks. Hi, baby! Wesley. Hello. Kamusta? Okay naman. Ba, uh, na-storbo ko kayo, ha? Hindi, ha? No. Baka nga ako yung nakastorbo sa inyo, eh. Nasabi ko naman na yata lahat ng requirements. Ah, uh, nagkukentuhan lang kami. Ah, nagkukentuhan. Kaya mm-hmm. pa na rin na pa ako tumatawag sa baby ko. Hindi ko makontak eh, matungo sa papalaki. <laughs> Kanina ako pala tumatawa? Oo nga, sorry. Ano lang, napasarap lang ng kwentuhan. Sarap. Okay lang. This passive-aggressive nature from both of them. Kanina umaga lang tayo magkausap ha. Oo nga. Uy, Master. Baka naman pwedeng tagal-tagal lang may pag-asikaso ng pakailis ng baby ko. Pero mo sila yung madali. Oo ba? Malakas ka sa akin eh. Gusto mo? Oh. Pucha. Uy. Okay ka lang? He's, he's fine. <laughs> Oo. Oh, buti na lang malamit na. So, naalala ko tuloy yung inutusa ka ng lola mo na mag-serve tapos natapon mo yung mug tapos pinagalitan ka pa. <laughs> Yes, it's, it's, I'm, I'm actually quite enjoying the passive-aggressive nature here. <laughs> really? You could have taken your shirt off... off camera. Sorry, sorry. Like it, eh. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Look at Cairo. <laughs> He's just watching two men take their clothes off. Baby. Ay, kasi may 
cute pa natin si Sop, no? Kapag nag-blush. Oh, not the cute best thing to ko. say. Kaya na, sarate ko kayo mahal niya. Okay. Good for you. So, ano, Master, okay lang ba? Oh, no. Pwede yung tingin-tingin mo yung pagtago ng Sop sa baby, no? Uh, sorry, ah. Uh, hindi ko alam na issue to. Kasi yun yung tawag ko sa kanya dati pa, eh. And bata pa lang kami nun. Ewan ko, sana wala namang mali siya, pero... No, he, he is. Ang sinasabi, oh, hindi lang eh. Ah, uy, uy, teka, teka, teka. Tumatawag na pala si Mama. Wes, thank you ah. Ah, baby. Usap tayo mamaya. And ko na itong call. Bye. Baby, what time ka pa tatawag? Antay lang ako dito ah. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, I have so many chicas. Hindi kayo ready. Nay, Kara is not happy. Neither of them all. Uh oh. Wala na ba? Ako lang may excited. Di man lang kayo magpapanggap na excited kayo for me. Ay, ano yun? Pero ito ba yun sa? Yeah, but Gavro looks really angry. Wala na yun. Excitement ko. Kala ko ba tatawagan mo ako after yung magkusap kanina? Ah. May hindi pa ako. Saka alam ko rin mag-uusap tayo ngayon. Ay, ano ito nangyayari? May MQ ba? Alam ko, napasarap na yung kinto. Yes, they all have an unloveless quarrel. Ano siya problema? Magkaibigan nga lang kami ni Wesley, Gav. I think Poe is everyone who watches this right now. Gav, masarap ang sabihin yung sold guest sa baby. Ewan ko sa'yo, bahala ka sa buhay mo. Ay, ay, teka, teka! Sino si Wesley? Bakong pala mo ang alien. He doesn't look like an alien. Do I smell jealousy in the air? Si Gabriel Mendoza, alam ko, nagsiselos. Mm-hmm, he is jealous. Hindi mo kailangan magselos. Hindi naman na siya lang baby ko. Oo, yun naman pala, Gabi! Alam ko naman yun, baby. Yeah, but he's not worried about you. Alam ko talaga akong tiwala dyan sa ubok na yan. Natanong mo na gusto sa iyo, eh. Hindi, 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 hindi. Walang gusto yun sa akin, baby. Magkaibigan lang talaga kami. Ay, ay, teka-teka, baby boy. Eh. Hindi ko pa nakikita yung Wesley na yan ha. Pero ikaw din kasi minsan may pagkasyuma. Ito ang sigap eh. Patay na patay sa'yo. Ay, ang pagkakas ko pinaniwalaan. Okay, na anong gusto mong gawin ko? Oh, po. Ha? Huwag na lang kang mag-usap. Ikaw. Bakit ako tinatanong mo? Ewan ko. Uy, pagbihira mag-usap na kayo ng matino? Yeah, please. But also stay there, Pearl, so you can listen. <laughs> they really need to talk. Baby. Yes, baby ko. Pwede ba? Kasi si Wes... I don't know. You're bringing up Wesley. Baby, anong ginagawa mo? Eto, iniisip ka. Mm-hmm. Ulero ka talaga. Baby, huwag na tayo mag-away, please. I think you two need to talk. Hindi naman tayo nag-away, ah. Promise, baby. Papakabait na ako. Mm, we shall see. Bakit? Kailan ka ba hindi naging salpahe? Hmm. Awit? Hmm. Kulit? Mahal mo naman. He does. He does. Oo naman. Some people can't just mind their own business. Yeah, I mean, come on, Gavro. Terence? Oh, bigat niya na. Is that for someone in particular? Ano mo nalaman? Joke, half joke. Well, my advice remains to say to communicate better. Kyrie's gonna see all of this. Thank you. He's not gonna be happy. Yeah, see? Close pala kayo. Sa 
No, you can't be jealous and then talk to Terence. Oh, here we go. Baby, baby. But you're jealous of Wesley. Come on, let it come out. Exactly. No, he said sorry to you. Here it comes. Well, that is true. But Terence doesn't see you as just a friend. I'm kind of enjoying this argument right now because it's it needs to air out all their grievances. He just wants to talk to you. He didn't say that. Yeah, he's not even speaking about breaking up with you. Precisely, kaibigan ko at yung kaibigan ko extension yun ang pagkatao ko. Kung di mo sila tanggap, hindi mo rin tanggap. I feel like Pearl right now. Bakit mo ba sila sumbat sa akin yan? Alam mo yung ginawa niyo sa atin? Hindi, eh napatawad ko na siya. Obviously, Cairo hasn't. Kaibigan mo, genius, tsaka perfect ito naman kaibigan mo eh. Gaff, why is it suddenly like this? At bigla ka naging insecure. Ako? Ako talaga? That was Game Boy's episode 12, Jealousy in the Air. I'm not going to lie, I was expecting a bit more of a fight between them both. But we saw this building up the whole episode. I mean, Gavril is incredibly jealous of Wesley. I don't trust Wesley, but at the same time, we haven't really been privy to him saying too much in a way that could indicate that he likes Cairo and also Cairo really cares for Gabriel so he wouldn't even see it. I do think Pearl's right about Cairo being a bit naive. I think he tries to see the good in everyone and sometimes people don't always have that good of a side of them. 
the, the little passive aggressive nature between Wesley and Gavril was quite fun to watch. You could, because Gavril really lets his emotions go and he really does not like Wesley. He does not trust him at all. And usually when you follow your gut instinct, you're never wrong. And he possibly might have a reason. We'll find out, hopefully, in the next episode if he was right or wrong. I do think they needed to air out the problems they're facing, especially because they've only been able to meet once, so most of their communication has been online. And as much as fun as that can be, with what's going on in their lives, it's really difficult. Not just the pandemic, but Cairo moving away. I think Pearl was every single person who watched this in that moment. She did not want to leave. But I also she got fed up with the argument. She got frustrated with it because it's something that you has been bubbling between them for a while. Uh, the argument, hopefully they resolve it in the next episode. I do think though that Gavril has to understand that you can't expect Cairo not to talk to Wesley, then you can talk to Terence. And I think Cairo was right in that Terence's apology was sincere to Gavril. Because he doesn't really have to owe Cairo an apology, seen as technically they've never met. But you can't trust Terence because of how he has been previously, even if he's not trying to meddle in their relationship now. He did previously, and he outright wanted Gavril back. And it was just nice to have Pearl back, by the way. It was just nice to have her a bit more in this episode. I, because she, obviously her character has been so busy with her career and her supposed love life, the person who she's with. And I really, really liked what the, both the actors did. The overlayingness of the argument, talking over one another, is such a realistic thing and it was so well done. I don't know how much training went in for both of them to get that precisely right, but I would imagine a few Zoom calls and meetings with the director would have been able to do that. It was done so well and it was just there to bubble at the surface and what they were saying to one another was correct. I do think Kairu sometimes doesn't take into account how Gavril feels because kairu has been through so much and Gavril usually paints on a smile and acts very jovial and very joyful. But we're starting to see it take a toll on Gavril. We're seeing how sad he is, how alone he feels. I mean, he really doesn't have anyone. Whereas Kairu, though distant from his family, has been able to rectify those issues and build back up a relationship but when you don't have someone there and you are all alone and you don't have someone to talk to because he doesn't Gavril doesn't have Pearl so he couldn't even talk to his best friend about these situations where she could have easily calmed him down and said you may be thinking a bit too much of this your issues are obviously with Wesley because you don't trust him but you have to trust Cairo that he will be faithful to you Cairo also has to understand I guess that you may not like Terence, but if you are willing to accept Wesley in your life, knowing how Gavril feels, you then have to expect him to have Terence. It's so complicated, there's a lot of nuances to this episode. But let's hope they sort out their issues before Cairo moves. Thank you for watching, that was episode 12 and I will be back next week with episode 13.